Hi everyone, welcome. Before I give the message for the week, I'm going to read the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now come with me, guys, while I get the message for the week. Coming out of the book of Second Peter, Second Peter 1, 3-11. Confirm your calling and election. His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who has called us to his own glory and excellence, by which he has granted to us his precious and very great promises, so that through them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, and virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. For if these qualities are yours and increasing, they keep you from being ineffective or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For whoever lacks these qualities is so nearsighted that he is blind, having forgotten that he was cleansed from the former sins. Therefore, brothers, be all more diligent to confirm your calling and election. For if you practice these qualities, you will never fall. For in this way, there will be richly provided for you an entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When we grow in God, we allow the Lord to renew us and we are to help others along the way. When we seek more, more is revealed. Trusting in God, even though we don't know the outcome, Know that all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Before you go, if you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I repent for my sins. I know that I am a sinner and that I cannot save myself. No longer will I close the door when I hear you knocking. By faith, I gratefully receive your gift of salvation. I'm ready to trust you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you are the Son of God, who died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead on the third day. Thank you for bearing my sins and giving me the gift of eternal life. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and be my Savior. Amen. Have a blessed week, guys.